Answer the phone. Elvis, Elvis Duran. The Elvis Duran phone tap. All right, the phone tap today from the worst assistant in the world, Anthony. That's me. All right, Anthony. <laughs> Is Wyclef back? He is. All right, uh, <laughs> set it up for us. All right, so Tyler has just graduated from college and he's been spending his entire summer just partying and playing video games. And his mom, on the other hand, wants him to get a job and thinks that making him pay rent for his room is going to make him take his job search a little more seriously. So I'm going to call Tyler's mom and uh, mess with her a little bit. All right, let's see what happens. Playing the part of Wyclef. It's Anthony, the worst assistant. Let's listen into today's phone tap. Here we go. Hello? Aileen. Speaking. This is Aileen. This is Aileen, uh-huh. How you doing, Aileen? Um, I'm, I'm fine. Who's calling? Uh, my name is White Cliff. What can I do for you? I look forward to living with you, Miss Aileen. I think you might have the wrong number. I talked to your son, Tyler. I'm moving in next week. I just wanted to talk about the details. I- I'm sorry, what? You did what? Tyler is your son, correct? Yes, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to move in next week. I talked to Tyler about it. From the newspaper. Nobody's moving in here next week. Yeah, ma'am, I am. No, I ga- there must be some misunderstanding. No, I gave Tyler the money last week for security. I'm sorry, I'm confused. I don't know who you are or okay, how Miss, you know Miss my Eileen, son. Okay, Miss Eileen, your son put a classified ad for a roommate. Right here, it says, looking for roommate, mom will cook. Are you, um, are you a good cook, Miss Eileen? Um, I'm going to call him right now and well, figure Ms. out what Eileen, this is all before, about. I just need to know what day I should move in. You are not I've got moving. my cousins. They're going to come help. No, no. No one is moving in. I'm going to call my son. I'm going to call Tyler and I'm going to straighten this out. You are not moving in. Well, Miss Eileen, I just want to know, are pets okay? No. I've got my pet snake. I'm going to straighten this all out with my son, but you are not moving into my house. Okay, one love, one love. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Tyler, you there? <laughs> oh my God, she's so good. So your mom, I guess your mom doesn't want a roommate, huh? She call me right now. Okay, okay, don't pick up the phone, all right? Let it go through. Okay, we're gonna call her back from right here. Awesome. Okay, so you're gonna be on the phone. You're gonna talk to your mom, okay? You got it. All right. Hello. You just called me? Yeah. Where Where are you? Um, I'm I'm updated. What's the deal with this Whitecliff guy? He called you. Yes, he called me. He wants to know if I'm going to cook food for him. What the f- are you doing? He's paying rent. No, 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 no. That is not how it works. You're just inviting people to live in our house? I interviewed him. He's I don't care guy. how nice he is. You are going to get a job and you are going to pay rent. That's how it works. Well, just relax, okay? No, 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 do not tell me to relax. This is my house and they're my rules. I'm looking for a job every day, Mom. You're at Dave's house right now. You're at Dave's house Jamaican food for us. You just told me you're at Dave's house. You're not looking for a job. What is wrong with you? How do you even think that that's a good idea? You find a stranger from an ad in the newspaper and you invite him to live in our house and you tell him I'm going to cook for him? What? Mom, Mom, is it, is, it's not because he's Jamaican, is it? Oh, my God. Where he's from makes no difference. He is not moving in. I, I can't explain that to, to him. Yes, You're going to have can. to talk to him about that. You know what? I don't care. You're perfectly willing to make me this damn angry. Go ahead and make your new little friend angry. I don't give a Tyler. This is your okay, doing. This for two you months. made this He'll mess. For you two months. He's calling me right now. He's probably really upset. Can you talk to him? No, I'm not going to talk to him, Tyler. You no, don't please. He's calling him. in right now. Can you just talk to him, please? No, Come no. on. Tyler, don't do that. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, Tyler, what's going on, man? Hey, my mom's on the phone. She wants to talk to you. No, no, okay. Oh, Miss, Miss Eileen! I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. This conversation is between the two of you. Miss Eileen, I swear, I'll, I'll be a good roommate. No, you will not be a good roommate. You are not moving in. Just please, Miss Eileen, relax a little bit. He will give you all your money back, but you are not moving in. Miss Eileen, I'm homeless now. I'm sorry. I gave up my other that's apartment. That's not my concern. Miss Eileen, please. Let's don't leave me call. in the streets, Miss Eileen, please. Tyler? I'm so sorry my mom's upset. She'll get used to the idea. No. Okay, so okay, Tyler, no, know, what day Mom. should I move in, Tyler? No. Wednesday. Damn it. Deal with it. What about Friday? Friday's good. No. Okay, we'll do a Friday. Yeah, we'll do Friday. Friday's good. I'll stay at my mom's for two days and I'll go Tyler, to do a place on if Friday. If anyone shows up at this house, you are going to find yourself homeless, too. Do you understand me? Oh, Miss Eileen, relax. No, no need for that line I don't know you from anybody. Don't be telling me to relax. Miss Eileen, there's no need for that language. It's one love, you know? Don't give me your one love. I don't care. Miss Eileen, just relax. When I come by, we'll listen to some Bob Marley. We'll do a little smoking, no, you know? Will, there's no, you're not moving in. I don't know how to make well, this we should do that outside. Oh, the, all right. I don't want to ruin the furniture with the smoke, you know? You better get your ass home from Dave's house because we have some serious discussions to have tonight. And I'm not doing it with strangers anymore on the phone. You're done. Miss Eileen, I'm not a stranger no you're more. We're like, we're like family now. Do you know? 
Trust me, man, you're gonna enjoy my company. Yeah, I'm not going to enjoy anything because I will never meet you. Whether I'll clean you up you after myself. I clean up after my snake. Roommate. I'll do anything you want. I'll cook, I'll clean, I'll do whatever, I'll do the lawn. It don't matter. It, it it's all good. It doesn't matter to me either because you will not be living here. Miss Eileen, can I tell you one thing? When you're No, sad, I've had it with you telling me things. What about, what if I tell you, my name's Anthony from Elvis Duran in the Morning Show and your son Tyler just phone tapped you. Tyler. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, my God. I <laughs> cannot believe you did that. <laughs> Sorry, you Mom. I asked you that. Elvis Duran phone tap. That was awesome. That was Thank so you, awesome. Elvis. Thank you. I like his accent. It's not bad. I would love for Wyclef to come yeah, live with me. Totally. You can nice. bring your snake. No problem. <laughs> I'll cook. That was so funny. Poor Eileen. Good <laughs> handle it. Wow. That was great. Thank you. What a fantastic phone tap. All right. There you go. That's the worst assistant in the world, Anthony. That was awesome. And his stab at a phone tap. Excellent. Excellent job.